part three of our camper cooking mini series with the Wee Camper Company. My name is Laura Michael and we're here today with a beautiful beach in the background. I hope you can see that. And also the stags are rutting in the field next to me if you can hear any of that. So we decided today to make a dish of sliced aubergine cooked in garlic oil with a parsley gremolata, some burrata cheese, local isla honey and some pomegranate seeds and this would make a perfect starter or a lunch snack dish in the camper van. Also today we are going to be speaking to local businesswoman Rosie from the Wee Box about running a, a food business in a remote island. Crush two cloves of garlic and place them in olive oil and set aside. Slice the aubergine into two centimetre thick slices and sprinkle them with salt. This brings out the moisture. Leave them like this for 15 minutes. For the gremolata, you will need breadcrumbs or finely chopped up bread, some flat leaf parsley, olive oil and salt and pepper. Heat up your frying pan and put in some olive oil. Add the breadcrumbs to the pan and coat them in the olive oil. Once the breadcrumbs are golden brown, add your flat leaf parsley, mix it through and remove from the heat. Set the gremolata aside to cool down. Don't forget to season with salt and pepper. Now wipe the salt and moisture off the aubergine. Dip the slices of aubergine in the garlic oil on both sides and place in the frying pan. When brown, flip them over and cook on the other side. When the aubergine is brown on both sides, remove from the heat. Place the aubergine slices flat on a plate, all ready for the rest of the plating. Now let's speak to Rosie from the Wee Box. So I'm here today with Rosie from the Wee Box in Port Ellen and Rosie it's really nice to meet you. This has been the first time that I've seen this Wee Box here and I'm really impressed because I've been coming to this island for 20 years on holidays and jazz gigs and everything else. So how long have you been here? About a year. A so year. we opened last September. I know it's a bit random who opens during a lockdown. <laughs> but we actually did pretty well because a lot of the locals used us and the mums would come out, get a shot at the park and get a wee coffee. So it was fab. It's fantastic and you're selling some lovely toasties and wraps and paninis Thank you. and good quality coffee. Can't Thank have you. enough of that. So <laughs> um yeah, do you find it because you're on an island and I'm here and I'm like cooking with local produce and trying to use the stuff that's in the shops do you find it a challenge getting enough produce to make your sandwiches yes especially just now because everything is going on yeah like it's crazy like i actually had a week one week that i had to open i had no milk for like an hour till the ferry came in i mean what coffee shop doesn't have milk <laughs> um and i mean the 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 advantage I can see from being here is the view that yes. you've got out. I mean, that's a fantastic view, but I imagine in the winter it gets a little bit cold sometimes, it doesn't it? It gets a wee bit chilly. So last year we stayed open to the 21st of December. I'm quite proud of that. Um, had my fluffy hat on and my gloves on and I just kept going, kept coming out. Um, I feel for all the locals here because as soon as the season ends, normally all the takeaways and like the good stuff that the tourists bring leave so I really felt for them so if I can stay open as long as I can I will because they deserve to be able to have a wee place where they can stop and get a cup of coffee. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. We beat no your problem. sandwiches. They were absolutely fab. 
please come and visit the Thank wee you. box in Port Ellen if you're here on a journey. Thanks a lot, Rosie. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> so I've come outside to do the plating up today. So first of all, I've got my aubergine slices, which are lovely and hot. And I'm going to rip up some buffalo mozzarella or burrata. We've got burrata. We've got our hands on some burrata. I'm just going to dot it about. This is like one of my favourite things. Sprinkle on the parsley gremolata. Put on loads of this because it's so good. One more. For a simple, simple dressing, we're using some local Isla honey. And some balsamic vinegar. I absolutely love this dish. It's a dish of so many layers. The lovely garlic, toasty flavour from the aubergine, lots of crunch and flavour from the gremolata and we're going to put some pomegranate seeds on for an extra little bit of sweetness and crunch and it just looks so lovely. To finish it off, for zest, a little bit of lemon zest. So there you have it, my garlic aubergine dish with a parsley gremolata, some burrata, lemon zest, pomegranate seeds, balsamic vinegar and local Isla honey. I hope you brought a fork. We did. Where's mine? Oh, yum yum. Are you ready? What do you think? Love it? Mmm, yummy.